of This Was Their Life, Bobby Dan Davis Blocker, better known as Dan Blocker, was an American television actor, best known in his role of looming and lovable Hoss Cartwright on the television series Bonanza, and was also a Korean War veteran. Blocker was born on December 10, 1928, in Del Cobb, Texas, United States, son of Ora Shack Blocker and his wife Mary. As a boy, he attended Texas Military Institute and in 1946 played football at Southern Baptist affiliated Hardin Simmons University in Abilene, Texas. In 1947, he transferred to Sol Ross State Teachers College in Alpine, Texas, where he was a star football player and graduated in 1950. After two years of military service, he earned a master's degree in the dramatic arts. He worked as a rodeo performer and as a bouncer in a bar while a student. He is remembered from his school days for his size of 6 feet 4 inches and a weight of 300 pounds, and for being good-natured despite his intimidating size. Blocker was a high school English and drama teacher in Sonora, Texas from 1953 to 1958, a 6th grade teacher and coach at Eddy Elementary School in Carlsbad, New Mexico, and then a teacher in California and began his pursuit in acting. His acting career was slowed down, however, when he was drafted into the United States Army during the Korean War. He had basic training at Fort Polk, Louisiana, and served as an infantry sergeant in F Company, 2nd Battalion, 179th Infantry Regiment, 45th Infantry Division in Korea. From December 1951 to August 1952, he received a Purple Heart for wounds in combat. In addition to the Purple Heart, Blocker received the National Defense Service Medal, Korean Service Medal with two bronze campaign stars, Republic of Korea Presidential U Unit Citation, United Nations Service Medal, Korean War Service Medal, and Combat Infantryman Badge. After the military, Blocker appeared in the Three Stooges short Outer Space Jitters. Having portrayed the part of the goon, billed as Don Blocker, he made two appearances on the Gunsmoke series. The first on August 25, 1956, in Alarm at Pleasant Valley, and the second on October 18, 1958, in Thoroughbreds. He also appeared in 1957 as Will in the episode A Time to Die of the ABC Warner Brothers Western series Colt 45, starring Wade Preston. In 1957, Blocker was cast in episodes of the David Dutort produced NBC series The Restless Gun as a blacksmith and as a cattleman planning to take his hard-earned profit to return to his family land in his native Minnesota. That same year, he had at least two roles as a bartender in an episode of the syndicated Western-themed crime drama Sheriff of Cochise, starring John Broomfield. In 1958, he played a prison guard and later had a reoccurring role as Tiny Buttinger in the NBC Western series Cimarron City, starring George Montgomery, John Smith, and Audrey Totter. Blocker's big break also came in 1959, when he was cast as Eric Hoss Cartwright on the NBC television series Bonanza, and played the role in 415 episodes until his death. Blocker said he portrayed the gentle-natured Hoss character with a Stephen Grella excerpt in mind. We shall pass this way on earth but once. If there is any kindness we can show, or any good act we can do, let us do it now, for we will never pass this way again. Director Robert Altman befriended Blocker while directing episodes of Bonanza. Years later, he cast Blocker as Roger Wade in The Long Goodbye, but Blocker died before filming began. The role then went to Sterling Hayden, and the film was dedicated to Blocker. Also in 1963, Blocker started and received partial ownership in a successful chain of Bonanza Steakhouse restaurants. Ponderosa Steakhouses started in 1965. In exchange for serving in character as Haas, as their commercial spokesman and making personal appearances at franchises. Blocker is listed on the West Texas Walk of Fame in Lubbock. Blocker was a free Methodist. He married Delphina Parker, whom he had met while a student at Saw Ross State University. All of their four children's names begin with a D. Hollywood actor Dirk Blocker, Hollywood producer David Blocker, and twin daughters Deborah Lee and Dana Lynn. David Blocker won a 1998 Emmy for producing Don King, Only in America. On May 13, 1972, Blocker died in Los Angeles at age 43 of a pulmonary embolism following gallbladder surgery. The writers of Bonanza took the unusual step of referencing a major character's death in the show's storyline that autumn. Bonanza lasted another season without Hoss, 
and the 14th and final season ended on January 16, 1973. Locker's remains were interred in a family plot at Woodman Cemetery in Del Cobb, Texas. The common gravesite is marked by a plain stone with the name B. Dan D. Blocker. Three family members are buried beside him. His father, his mother, and his sister.